welcome back to a brand new video. We hope you're all well. Sorry if the camera's shaky, it was just <laughs> holding so it up. Really quick. <laughs> just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to our channel Yay. because we finally hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you. So thank you all, we really appreciate so it. So exciting. We've got to get to 5k now. That'll be That's the next, next big milestone. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. And for all your lovely comments, we do read all of them. Also, this will be going out on Easter Sunday, so we hope you're all having a lovely Easter break. Mm -hmm. As you guys know, we are doing Slimming World, so we're trying really, really hard not to eat too much chocolate. Oh, I've had a few cream eggs. Have you? Yeah. You're naughty. Um, yeah, so we're at Mum's. We just thought we'd quickly show you a couple of updates. Um, yep. And then we're going to quickly head to HomeSense because, um, when was it? A few days ago, yep. we popped into TK Maxx. On the way back from Slimming yeah, World. Yeah, not to film, we just wanted just to run in. We were driving past, let's just quickly run in there, see what's new. Yeah. And I picked up a really lovely brown leather footstool, which has gone in my lounge. Yeah. Um, and it was in the sale. I think I paid... 30-something. 30 30-something 30 pound for it, but it looks really, really nice. It's very shamagy and i just loved it so much so i'm really hoping that we can find another one yeah in Home so we're not going to do like a big film in there or anything because obviously we did film home sense and tk maxx in the last video but like they did, did have two of them in another color so there obviously are a few of them knocking around so yeah, we're hoping we can piece, yeah but yeah so we're hoping we can find that so we're going to take you with us and see if we can find it sorry guys my arm's really shaking holding up this high right. but we've got a couple of marketplace finds that we want to show you at mum's so we will flip you around now so to start with and it's not clean guys so don't judge we have been on the hunt for a 90 centimeter range cooker for mum because if you've been here a little while you would know that when she moved in her old oven was just a standard size oven Way so the small. gap was too big for her oven and it looked silly so she sold that and these are worth this is a natural range master brand these are worth two over two thousand pounds new we found this on facebook marketplace it was listed for 250 and we managed to get the lady down to 200 and mum hasn't cleaned it yet it's literally just arrived um we obviously had to pay somebody to collect it and also for a gas engineer to hook it up which was 70 pounds to connect the gas it's not necessarily a difficult job, but you do need a gas safe engineer to install it. So yeah, two hundred pounds for a range master. Yeah, that is a bargain. So it needs a good clean, but a lot of the ones we were looking at that were more money were quite rusty and stuff like that. This hasn't got any rust or marks. It's purely just, just dirt. Needs a, clean. needs a clean. So absolute blooming bargain. So guys, this is your sign. Two, look on Facebook Marketplace before you buy anything like this new because yeah. we've saved mum like £2,000 by finding yeah. this. So, so yeah, we really, that. really chuffed with that. And then let me flip you around. So Sid can take the credit for this one. So I found the oven, but Sid's mission was a mission so far. So you would have seen mum had an old sofa that she'd had for a long time and yep. she'd always known that when she was going to move she would get a new sofa. Yeah. Um, so found this on Facebook Marketplace. It literally went on there and I snapped it up straight away. The lady put it on for £100 but it's literally in perfect condition. Not one mark on it guys. No and it is just so nice for the space. It's really really lovely like what's the fabric like Chanel. Chanel. I don't know how you say it. I've never known how you say yeah, it. It's really nice fabric. I really, really love the legs. Love the, the wooden legs. legs. And it was originally from John Lewis, so it yep. wouldn't have been a cheap sofa. Um, so yeah, managed to get it for £80, which yep. I just think is an absolute bargain. As I said, perfect condition and it's really, really comfortable. It's well. nice and deep and we looked on John Lewis to, they don't sell this one anymore, but the one that we could find that was sort of the most similar was I think one and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. So. It does feel really comfortable. What a blooming bargain. Yeah. So. Mum absolutely loves it. It's just made a big difference. We do need some pillows. Yeah, we um, need some nice cushions. We're thinking, so you found some on Etsy, haven't you? Yeah. So we found a sage green floral, a, what is it, a neutral and white pinstripe. Nice striped one, and then maybe another a block. block 
sage or something. As you know, mum wants to do sage in here, so she's not... She does love this area, but compared to like the seating area that we've now finished, yeah. mum does feel like this area needs It more. needs something. And obviously, we haven't finished styling. We do need like pillows, throws, and mum is quite keen on having um, a picture shelf yeah. above the panelling, which will look like it's part of the panelling. Yeah, it'd just um, be like a thin be like a white, white shelf. shelf that would sit so on top of that. Style a couple of bits right there. Oh, off. there's a ghost. <laughs> Something just fell on the floor. Um, so yeah, we probably will do that because mum does want it, so... Yeah, and the thing is with cushions, guys, and some of you may already know this tip, but when it comes to interior design, you should never really have the same cushion twice. And the general rule of thumb is that you have one floral, one stripe, and one plain. Or if well, you were having five, you could... Yeah. You that's know, mix Shay, and match. That's what Shay does. So. That's what Shay McGee does. And as you guys know, she's our favourite interior designer. So, moving on just quickly as well. So, this table here, you guys would have seen that we picked it up on Facebook Marketplace. I think it was around £20. Yeah. We have sanded it down. Um, Partially. With an actual electric sander. We didn't yeah. finish. We've still got to get our hands on these little bits here that yeah. we need to be done with, like, just the, um, sandpaper. However... <laughs> We're having a bit of a coffee table debate at the minute. Mum is not loving it. Mum's not loving it. and We're not really loving it that much either. No, we're not either. Now the nice sofa's in. I mean, this armchair obviously is temporary, but it is comfortable. So yeah. we don't now, really want to get rid of it. For now, we need extra seating in here for when people come around to see mum. But, but that's going. This just isn't doing it for us. It needs to be a bit bigger. Um... She did bring a marble coffee table with her when she moved in. It was just way too big for the space. Yeah. Like way, way too big. You couldn't walk around it. But this is just a little bit too small. Um, and it just throws the vibe off a bit. I feel like the rest of it all looks really nice. And the coffee table just isn't anything special, is it? Yeah. So we are going to be on the hunt um, for a new one. We'll probably wait until we found a new one. And then maybe try and just flog this for 20 quid yeah, so that we get our money back. Facebook. So that's that. And then one final thing, guys. So lighting obviously makes such a big difference to the space. And let me go back. So these were from a company online. I think it was called Industville. Um, they are brass metal shades. And they did take a little while to come. But they are so, so worth it. So they're the easy fit ones. They're just a pendant shade. They didn't need to be wired in. And they are just this really nice... Brass dome, and if you have been watching us for a while, you will know. Have we shown the new um brass door knobs for the kitchen cupboards? No, I don't think we Not have, sure if we have. Um, but anyway, we are planning on. Oh, if we show on this one, so this is a little tester of a color that we're potentially going to be painting the kitchen cupboards. Um, it's been a bit scuffed while we've been playing around with it. Um, Sid is just grabbing the door handles. So we're thinking oh, yeah, that is right. that's for the bottom cupboards. The the bottom is that the right cupboards. way up? Yeah. 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 So we will panel them as well. So they will be like shaker style. Shaker style. With that on, we'll just finish it off. Yeah. And for these ones up here, we're thinking a round. Brass, round. No. Yeah. So round for the top cupboards. And then that style, other style. Do you want to hold it up, Sid? for the lower cupboards and obviously like sid said we will panel them so they're shaker style so that isn't going to be probably anytime soon we're no, going to wait a little while probably last we need to work out what we're doing with the tiles as yeah well. they yeah they are really bugging me they've got to go they gotta go. They got to go. They're not too bad, no, but we might just paint them and just we might them paint out. them white if we're doing the cabinets a colour. So yeah, the handles just go very, very nicely with the new light shades. And I don't know if we showed you these guys. No, but they, I'm not sure I love these. Do you know don't that? Don't you? I don't know if they're brassy enough. They're quite gold, but they're nice though. Once it's just against this colour. It's just not doing it for me. And it's yeah. It's like, I think maybe we should just take them down. They now. did come with a brass rail, but because obviously we don't know what we're doing with these tiles yet, we've just hung them on the current rail, but they did come, they did with, come with a gold, gold rail. <laughs> 
So that's the latest updates at Mum's. So let's quickly run to Home Sense. Like we said, we're literally just looking for these stalls. If we do oh, see any showstoppers, we will show you. We'll them. show you, yeah, but we're not gonna be like filming. Oh, sorry, love. Filming home. everything. And then after that, I am gonna take you guys home without Sid. Sorry, love just to show you some updates that I've got coming up in my flat. So I am trying to recreate Shay McGee's bookcases that I'll put an inspo picture of her lounge up on the screen now because her lounge is literally goals. Like that is what I want my lounge to look it's like. The whole vibe, is as big. the color schemes. But guys, just because we don't have big houses doesn't mean you, can, you can't you can replicate it. You just do it all in a smaller scale. I have seen some Ikea bookcases that I have um, found on Marketplace. I'm gonna upcycle a little bit. So yeah, once we've been to HomeSense, I'll take you home and show you what I'm planning to do. Here she goes. Guys, it's um, seven o'clock at night and it's, only open for another wow it's just gone seven so we've not got too long but we're hoping it'd be really quiet so we should have free rain oh they've already got rid of all the seasonal oh okay this is all oh how annoying is this because we're going to want to film lots of things <laughs> this coral kind of ornament is 20 quid oh okay so it's all like quite coastal that vase is nice $14.99. Oh, that's like blues and browns. That look nice in my cabinet because I want to do subtle blues. I might have to get that. Love this. If you've got blues, that would look nice styled on a book. How much? Table. $14.99. $14.99. Yes. Oh, it's all very coastal, guys. How much oh. is this? $14.99. This would look nice styled. Oh, I like that. That's very stylish. I sounded like a farmer then. Oh, you like that. <laughs> That's really nice. I like that shell. That would look nice in a bookcase. These would be good as bookends, twelve ninety nine. They're not heavy either. They look like they're stone, but they're not. That's another nice little shell. Price seven, seven ninety nine. These would be really nice bookends, guys, and they're not heavy. They're like more of like a light clay plastic dolphins. type material we could do a throwback to your bedroom oh, when you were younger yeah. when you i was obsessed with dolphins dolphin and used ornaments. to collect them how much is that actually 12.99 if you're a dolphin fan very nice oh i, I really wanted that. that's so like north core yeah i like American that vibes. i wanted like a um corally st or oh, um yeah. stone type they call them, designers call them objects of interest. Are they? Objects of interest oh, in bookcases. Oh, like 14 I really like that. Well, I want to do really subtle blues, guys, in with the browns and the oh, neutrals. I'm copying, Leo, I'm copying Sid, and I really like that. Mm -hmm. So that's a potential. And then potentially, what was the other thing I said? Oh, that vase that had the browns and the blues. I thought that was a sand and fog, but it's not. Ooh. It's got like um, powder on it. I don't like that. Very nice. Guys, they also have this coral like object thing on the stand in white. I might get that. We were both just saying that the vibe must be all sort of seaside nautical. Oh, love, love. I might get that as well for my bookcases. That is nice. I'm collecting stuff, guys, for these new bookcases that I've got coming. So, so the smaller size is 19 99 and the yeah. bigger one's 24 99 19 99 they 24 Oh, they're nice. Nice little coffee table book. Very nice. Got these 12 Yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, look, it's all like all the blues and everything. Look at these big vases. Oh, they're very... They're huge. Beach housey vibe as well, those lamps. Yeah. Twenty nine ninety nine. Quite like What's that? Oh, a shell. Uh, seven ninety nine. Oh, did you see this? What's that? Oh, really like oh, that. Oh, I like that as well. Sixteen ninety nine. Oh, I love the sugar. blues and browns together. That's that's the vibe I'm going for. Just a couple of little subtle blues that go with the browns. <gasps> he could go in my bookcase. <laughs> that's huge. It's blue and brown. Twenty nine ninety nine. Thirty Easy. quid. That's not bad. That vase is quite nice. That one there. Look. Um, what would yeah, you call I it? Like, like tile, tile effect. Sixteen. Like shell. 
these if you want to. I've seen these in Oh, I like that blue vase. That is really nice. Guys, I, I'm not going to know what to pick. We weren't even supposed to be filming all this, guys. Oh, are there candles? No, oh, it's like a little, little trinket. trinket. More kind of shell ornaments down there. I think I might get this because I'm I've been on the hunt for something like that, like, like an that. object that's different to like just your standard vases and stuff. Whales. That's cool. It's like iridescent in the middle. Oh. The shell. Oh look, it's actually like one of those shells. Very cool. Guys, it, now is the time to get Easter stuff for next year. So they've got like loads of bits in the sale now. I like this wooden egg for four pounds. I didn't see that bunny last time we came in here. I like, I like this as well. Six pound fifty. Six fifty. Yeah, he's nice. He is nice. He's a bit big though. Come I don't know. Why. Oh, he's broken. Oh, he's armless. He's armless. <laughs> but they've got like loads of little Easter teddies and oh these eggs that i looked at the other day how much are they now 10 pound i think how much were i thought they were 10 pound before oh all, all clearance look guys so come and get your bits for the next easter sid's obviously just on the hunt for this footstool she's just running up and down oh she's running oh Oh, that's a really nice bedside table. Love that. That's a nice chair too, like that. <laughs> Sorry guys if this is like really rushed. But... No? You never know upstairs. Oh, okay, so they didn't have this one. So they obviously just have random ones floating around. You could go with two different colours and see what it looks like and bring it back. No, so mine's more of like a tanned, warmer colour, isn't it? Yeah. Which is why I, I like it. that colour though. Yeah, but I wanted to bring warmth into mine. Um, these were the tables we said it might be nice for Mum as a side table because they would match her um, sofa legs, wouldn't they? How much are they? £49.99. So we'll show Mum those when we get home. I always think it's worth having a look at the gold bits. Oh, these are all new. I like, like the bubble kind of effects, but I'm not sure about the black, no 99. I like that gold shell. That's nice. I love shells and coral. I like the colour of that. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Coral, coral. Oh, they've got some gold coral, but I think I prefer the more natural looking coral to the gold. Cactus. Don't you? Similar, yeah. I think I prefer the more natural. What's that? It's like a coffee. No, is that a nut? Coffee bean, walnut. I don't really know. Sydney Brown's found something. Oh, I really like that. I love the dark wood tone of that. It's like a more of a walnut colour. How much? That's good. See, I want one for my. I was thinking of getting one for my coffee table, but I think that would be a bit too big. They're getting some summery um, garden, garden wear. wear yeah. Summery garden wear. Like these. These are They're very like, I can imagine Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. They're like futuristic. These are nice. Love them with the lemons Mum on. loves anything I with really lemons like on lemons. for the garden. Yeah, they are really nice. Right, should we go? Go upstairs. Oh yeah, they're nice. On trim, sixteen ninety nine. Sixteen ninety nine. And then you've got the bigger one. Nineteen ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Very nice. That's the smaller one. Yeah, like them. Oh, Mum wants us to look out for a blanket basket. They'll be upstairs, won't they? Right, let's quickly run upstairs. We're on the hunt for the footstool, guys. Are they gonna have one? Oh, I don't think they are. That's nice. I love that. How much is that? I think it'd be too big for Mum's hallway. Um, hundred seventy nine. That is nice. So that looks very, very expensive. Oh, one five nine nine nine. 
very nice. They're nice. They're nice footstools. Um, oh, I like these little vintage paintings, didn't I, guys, last time? Oh, I didn't see that one in here last time. That's nice. Oh, I don't think you're going to be in luck today, Sid. Ooh, spring cushions. I like the scalloped, wiggly coloured edge. Here, we'll have a quick look at the cushions in a second. Can't see one, Sid. No. I think you're out of luck there. Oh, I thought there was one there, then, but it's not. I like that walnut table. That's nice. How much is that? $39.99. Are you not tempted to get the other colour? They had two of the other colour. Bugger. Guys, I've just picked up this big laundry basket for $24.99. Well, I'm going to use it as a laundry basket. I've got a fabric one at the minute and it's driving me mad because you go to chuck a bit of laundry on it and it just sort of flattens. So I want a firmer one. So I thought this would be really good. And mum has asked us to pick her up this just to put her blankets in in the living room. And I think that was $12.99. So we're just grabbing both of those and I might go and get one of those coral ornaments or something quickly as we go because they are closing in like five minutes so we need to be quick so guys i'm definitely getting this because i think this will be nice for my bookshelves when they come and i haven't got many sort of objects like this i've just mainly got vases so i'm putting that in the basket i'm also grabbing this for 14.99 because it's another way to add a subtle bit of blue to my living room but i'm going to keep the receipt just in case it doesn't look right in the bookcase when they come um, and i can always bring it back if i'm not sure so we are just checking out now guys i've just got back from home sense with sid and obviously you saw which bits i picked up when we were in there i didn't get anything else so i just got that coral sculpture the big basket for my laundry and the vase with the blue brown and sort of creamy color but we did pop in a couple of charity shops earlier when we were out with mum and i just wanted to show you what i got so you're probably thinking what on earth are these books but when it comes to styling you really don't need to spend a lot of money on the like proper designer coffee table books look in charity shops for anything that's like garden or landscape related or obviously interior stuff is ideal if that's what you can find but you're probably thinking why on earth would you put these in a bookcase but what you need to look for so this one is about Kew Gardens but it's a plain black book and it's got really nice gold text on the side so it just says the gardens at q so that will look really really nice just the black and the gold taken out of the cover and same with this one this one was two pounds oh here he comes look as soon as i start filming guys um excuse those little kitty bits down there they're presents that i need to wrap um jet jet can you get off please so this one was two pounds and again look underneath the cover and it's just another plain black book with the gold text and it says a century in photographs so obviously you don't really want like unless it's for the kitchen but you don't want like a cookbook or like a random book but nothing wrong with that and nothing wrong with the Kew Gardens ones and they're just really good to sort of put ornaments on or lean at the edge of a bookcase so I picked these up because I know I don't have many books so really really good tip just to look at charity shops find one that you think you know wouldn't be too bad when it comes to like what it's about or what the title might be and look underneath the cover and there you go you've got a nice book with the nice gold writing on so yeah just thought i'd quickly show you and give you that tip 
Hi guys, I'm going to be making a few changes to my living room slash dining room shortly. So I thought I would just show you what it's looking like now so that you can sort of see a before and after and just give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing to it. So over here, you can see that I've got this sort of metal um, shelving rack unit. I do like it, not in love with it. I think it does look a little bit cheap. Oh, there's Jet Jack. <laughs> um, so I've been on the hunt for some bookcases from Ikea, but I wanted to try and find some on Marketplace so that one, I don't have to build them and two, obviously save a bit of money. So I found the other evening when I was scrolling, somebody was selling two of them for £50 each and they're the black ones. So I'll put a picture on screen now. So they are the Billy bookcases in black with the glass doors. And he said they're in pretty much immaculate condition. They probably just need a bit of a clean. So tomorrow I've got two of them being collected for me. So I've had to get somebody with a van to go and pick them up, obviously, because they are big and they are already built, which is great. So I don't have to build them. So I've got one going here and one going here and they do just fit absolutely perfectly according to my measurements in those two spaces either side of the window. Now what I'm thinking to do, I was a bit worried about them looking bulky and sort of closing off the room but I have noticed that Shay McGee in her living room has got two black bookcases but the insides of them are white so what I might do is paint the back and the insides the sort of off-white colour that my walls are so that they open up the space a little bit more and they don't sort of just look like they're plonked there. So I've got those coming tomorrow, like I said. So I'm popping out with mum in a little while to have a look and just see if we can pick up anything because obviously I've only got these three shelves at the moment here but I'm gonna have loads of shelves to style which I absolutely can't wait for. It will just be so nice to have a few extra shelves to put some seasonal bits in and just be able to have a bit more of a play around. I mean, just having those three, it's nice, but I'd like a bit more shelving. So here, like I said, is a before. So let's bring you a bit closer. So obviously got the metal one there. This chair that you can see over there in the corner, that was only a temporary thing. So Bobby actually tore the crucial ligament in his knee a few months ago and he was on crutches for weeks. And before that, he was in bed for a few weeks and couldn't walk. So we bought him a cheap recliner chair on Amazon so that he didn't have to just stay in bed all the time and he could get a bit more comfortable because love our sofas but they are so deep that if you've got any like mobility problems you just cannot get up off them so that will be going and then also what i'm thinking because the shelves are black and my coffee table is black i might sort of get like a nice wicker um tray for my coffee table and just incorporate a few more wood tones because I don't want it to look sort of too black and white and monochrome I do want to add some warmth so I probably will add some wood in places um, and then this mirror that you can see over here on the wall with that being black and my dining chairs black um, I'm thinking to either have a big piece of artwork up here or a wooden or sort of similar to what mum's got in, in her dining nook, that sort of grey bevelled mirror. So I'm thinking to change that out but not too sure what for yet. So this is a little before video for you guys and then obviously I will show you the bookcases as soon as they arrive. But in the meantime I'm going to pop out with mum to see if we can find any bits and bobs. We're planning on going to the range and then a couple of charity shops and also an antique shop called Fanny's Antique. So we will take you along with us and then I will show you what I bought when we get back.
a few hours later. Hi guys, so I'm back at home and I just wanted to quickly show you what I bought today. So this is a mix of the range, um, a couple of different charity shops and also an antique shop called Fanny's Antiques in Reading. Um, absolutely love it in there. You just don't know what you're going to find and there are some real gems in there and it's not anywhere near as expensive as you think it's going to be so there are obviously a few bits in there that are quite expensive but there are a fair few bargains in there as well so i will start with the bits from the antique shop so to start with i got this vase i just thought the shape of it was so cool i mean it looks like the sort of traditional round kind of vase shape that's just been squashed and i've got a little diy that i'm gonna um do on this i kind of want to make it rustic and some nice brown tones in there so i'm thinking to do like a dark brown at the bottom and then fade it up to a bit of a lighter color so i will do that either in this video or in the next video um so yeah i just love the shape of this it's really heavy as well and sturdy and i think this was 12 pounds so obviously i'm not too keen on the finish on it as it is but i think with a little bit of tlc i think this could look really cool and unique and then <laughs> i showed sid this and she was like why did you buy that that's a bit random so as I've probably said in this video, oh, here comes Jet Jet as usual. Um, I want to start adding some brown tones into my decor, um, especially the new bookcases that I've got coming. Um, so anyway, this, I just love the colours of it and I thought it was really quirky and different. I am trying to sort of collect some different antique kind of pieces rather than just shopping everywhere in the range and b&m and places like that oh he just has to get in there doesn't he anything i bring in guys he has to smell it <laughs> flick it on the floor <laughs> oh yeah look he'll get his head right in there oh jet you're not gonna fit in there <laughs> god's sake anyway so this is actually a vintage money box and i just thought it was really cool it's a little pub it says 1920 and the bull you can see there it's got the little bung on the bottom oh what does that say there tremor uk um i did have a look at these actually on ebay and they're not really that expensive i paid 15 for this i've seen one on ebay for nine pounds so they're definitely not really worth anything um but yeah it is a money box as well and i quite like the back of it as well so if you didn't want the front showing where it sort of says that it's a an old pub then you could have it this way round and you've got the slot showing there it's also quite um good if you want to sort of hide some money or something not that i would probably use that for this but um not a lot of people would know this is a money box so there you go you could have this on a shelf collect some coins or something in it and i just really like the brown tones and thought it was something different and at the end of the day if i don't like it i can always sell it or take it to a car boot something like that i just thought it was really cool and different so i picked that up but sid can't understand why um so those two were from fanny's antiques and then charity shop finds so Shay McGee, um, if you don't know Shay McGee, she is an interior designer. She's got her own brand. Sid and I absolutely love her. We love her style. We love her TV program as well. And Sid's got her book and I really, really want to get her book because Sid actually does read it. She doesn't just use it as a coffee table book. It's got so many good ideas in there. And she quite often decorates with small gold round or oval kind of vintage frames um she quite often puts like a black and white photo in there so for my bookcases i was on the hunt for a couple of sort of round or oval frames and i managed to find two today so i found one in one charity shop and one in another this one here i think this might be my favorite one this was only one pound 29 and it's so heavy i mean i don't know if this is old or vintage it feels like it could be quite old um but i just thought that was such a good price i love the sort of rope kind of beading detail 
detail around the edge and just thought that was really pretty. So I'll probably put a black and white photo in there. And then this one does have a little painting or photo in there, but I'll take that out and probably just get a black and white photo again printed in this one. I like the little round feet on it as well. And it's sort of just that real vintage look so i think they'll be perfect for the bookcase and that one if i didn't already say was two pounds um and then also in the charity shop i found this now bear with me with this one guys i absolutely love the shape i love the size of it and i loved the brown sort of speckled detail however you can probably guess the bit that i'm not too keen on so i'm not too keen on this blue and copper sort of design on the middle so i am going to give this a bit of a makeover and see if it works now what i'm thinking to do is put a bit of filler i mean i don't know if you can see but those bits there are sort of indented and then they're almost like filled with some sort of metallic i don't know something um, so I might fill it first with a bit of filler and then I've seen some people use a hot glue gun to create a design on a vase. Um, so I'll insert a picture here just to kind of give you an idea of what I mean. So I might fill it and then use a hot glue gun to create some sort of lines or indents going around the middle and then paint that middle bit like a brown or something. Um, so it looks like it's supposed to be like that maybe because obviously it you can tell that it's got this separate section in the middle so hopefully it kind of looks okay if not the money's gone to charity so it's not all bad or I could just texture the whole thing and do something else with it but I'm sure I can make something work so that was six pound a little bit more than I wanted to pay really considering that I am going to have to do something with that but I think that will work really nicely. And then on to the range. So I got this plant pot. This was, how much was this? Can't remember, guys. It might have been around a fiver. Um, so it's brown and then it's sort of got these blue tones coming through. Really nice glazed pot. And I thought that would look nice with a plant in maybe on my bookshelves. And then this coral here, well, it's not actually coral, it's sort of acrylic, but I think it does look quite realistic, actually. This, I think, was only £2 something, um, and I just think these are perfect to style on a book or something like that. They just look really stylish on shelving, so I was really pleased with that. And then I got this reed diffuser which definitely goes with the sort of vibe and theme of the other items. So it's sort of brown, grey and an off-white. Um, we did smell this scent as well and it smells really, really nice. So I think I'll use it as a reed diffuser first. And then after that, I think it just looks like a nice little vase that would just look perfect stacked on some books or something like that in the bookshelves so really really like that i think that was five something i believe um and then sid and i saw this actually when we went in the range a little while ago and we both really liked it so it's this really heavy textured candle holder don't know if i'll put a candle on this or maybe something else or just leave it as it is but this was only five pounds and it's so so heavy guys what does it say it is textured pillar candle holder so yeah i might put a candle on that actually i think it would look quite nice but i would probably need a fairly large candle for that one um but for a fiver i mean i just think that's so so good and then at the back I found this vase, never seen it in the range before. It was on its own, sort of a one-off. Um, it was $24.99, but it did have a bit of a crack on the top at the back, just on this top bit here. So I'm just going to have to touch that up a little bit, but they did give me 15% off um, for the fact that it did have a bit of damage. But I don't really mind because it's supposed to be sort of rustic and a bit rough and ready so didn't really mind that it was damaged and then last but not least 
as you guys may have seen, Mum bought these flowers recently and I love them so much that I just had to go back and get them. So I've got six stems in this vase here and they were three forty nine a stem and I just think they look really upmarket, really expensive. I wouldn't necessarily think that they were from the range and we just loved the fact that they have the brown stems that kind of look like real twigs and you've got the buds. They're just really rustic and natural looking. So yeah, I think six is absolutely perfect with these. I think mum bought six as well. So I'm just so, so chuffed with those. And I did actually have a canvas on this wall here, guys, that I made myself a little while ago and I've never been that keen on it. I was planning to redo it at some point, but I just haven't got around to it. So I took it down for now and I do actually prefer it in here without the canvas there because I just think the flowers against a nice um, white wall just look really nice. They're not sort of competing with anything. They just stand out a lot more. So I'm quite glad that I did that. You can still see the two screws up there where the canvas was. So, yeah, a few nice finds today. Oh, I've missed something. So, there was a little shop in Caversham. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Reading or not, but in Caversham there was this little shop and it was just full of knickknacks and, like, I thought it was a bit of a DIY shop, but it just has, like, loads of little random bits and Mum and I saw these and we absolutely loved them. We love um having sort of games or playing cards and that sort of thing out on the table and we just love the wooden box that these came in so i don't think the playing cards on the inside are actually anything special i haven't even opened them actually um but we just thought how nice to style on a coffee table um it was eight pound fifty oh the shop was called terry's there you go so eight fifty, and you are just paying for the box, but we just love the gold detailing, the wood, and they will just look really, really nice styled. So keep posted, guys, because I am, like I said, going to be upcycling this vase here and also this one. I don't know which one to do first or if to sort of just do both of them at the same time. I'll see how we go, but. I just keep looking at these frames. They're so, so pretty. If you need little bits like this, guys, for your shelves, definitely check charity shops first because, I mean, £1.29 for that frame is just so, so good. And, you know, it's so much nicer than buying from one of the cheaper high street shops because if you're like me then you kind of know what's in those stores and it's just nice to have something that not everybody else has um so yeah hi guys it's the next day so the cabinets have arrived i am so happy with them and i know that they're going to look so good when i'm done with them so as I said, I've decided to paint the insides of them white, the same colour as the walls. So the walls are sort of an off-white. The colour is timeless. I think it's Dulux. So I'm going to paint them the same colour. And then I think the fact that you can kind of see through, it will almost look like you can see through to the back wall. I think that will open up the space a bit more and it won't look as boxy and bulky. But because I've added more black in here with the cabinets being black, I am definitely going to add some more sort of warm tones and wood tones to the space just to balance it out a bit. So I've already just plonked this wooden knot ornament there on the coffee table. And I do want to get like a wicker tray for that vase there to sit on. I also have just ordered loads of new cushion covers from Sheen. So when they arrive, um, which will probably be in a couple of weeks time, I will do a big haul for you guys. I've gone for a lot of brown tones and neutrals. Some of them are textured and I just think they're going to look really, really nice. I did a little mock up of what they would look like. So I used Canva to remove the background of the cushions and put them on my sofa so that I could see what they would look like and then I could play around with different combos so I know it sounds a bit sad but it did take me hours to decide on the combination that I wanted to go with but I think they're going to look so so good 
So guys, stay tuned for the next video where you will see me paint these and change the knobs on them. And obviously the most exciting bit, which will be styling them. So I cannot wait. So guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video and we can't wait to see you again in the next one. See you later guys.